that we are even building fossil fuel infrastructure is just, it's, it's practically a crime. It's like a crime against humanity, paddling the houses in the, in the community. So you've got a pipe that's about this big. It's going to be jostled and rattled full of extremely explosive methane gas. All right? That is a disaster waiting to happen. Some others out there who are sitting and wondering what's going on. Why should they come here? To well, others should join us because this is not just a fight in West Roxbury. This is a fight for all of us because we are all, one, responsible for global warming, and two, all responsible for taking action because it's going to affect all of us. And the thing is, the two of us today are not going to end the project today, but two more the next day, two more the next day, a hundred more the next day, a thousand more the, ne the next day, there's no doubt in my mind that we can shut it down. No doubt in my mind. So we, we need more people and we are pulling people in already from all over the state. There's a lot of energy. So, you know, I think it's going to happen. A very large energy company and they have a lot of money and they've given a whole lot of that money to government officials in order to bypass state, federal, and local ordinances in order to take our streets by eminent domain. The gas that is leaking from these pipes traps 20 times more heat than even burning coal. Combined with the other fossil fuel industries, this is ultimately leading to Armageddon, which is going to push us over the tipping point. Scientists have documented that it is because of this global warming that there have been enormous increases in hurricanes, floods, forest fires, uh, water depletion, starvation, and that this can only continue to the point where people are forced to leave their borders, to crash other countries' borders, because they're desperate, because they're starving. Continue the wars for the little bit of oil that's left, and there'll be new wars, only this time they'll be for water and they'll be for food. As much as the people in West Roxbury are going to die from explosions if this is continued, as much as they're going to get chronic respiratory diseases from releasing the gases, both at the metering and regulating station and at the compressor station, it's a world problem. It's a human problem. We haven't wanted to, but we have allowed our government to be bought by giant corporations whose only interest is profit. These corporate moguls and not these government officials, they have needed to be blinded to the climate realities in order to justify scrambling to the top. Enabled by their climate denial, unknowingly sacrificing their own children along with all future generations. This is the most meaningful thing that I can imagine doing. Saving life for future generations. That's why being arrested is absolutely nothing when you look at these consequences. We need you to come out here and join us. We, 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 we can't do this alone. We need to have people here every morning like this, standing up and saying no to Spectra. We need people who are willing and able to risk arrest to go out and stand in front of the, the equipment. Um, it's really all of our struggle. Uh, it happens that West Roxbury is the front line right now in stopping new fossil fuel infrastructure in our neighborhood and in our state. So this is the place to show up and be here. We need you.